As we consume media today, people have become more conscious on how important representation is, especially at a young age. When Black Panther was released in 2018, it gave countless of black kids the opportunity to see themselves as a superhero. Not too long ago, it was a rarity of black children to be seen on television outside of stereotypical roles, especially when compared to their white counterparts. In 1993, Norman D. Goldman II would get the chance to show young black kids that they can be whatever they want through his role as Devin Butler in Cop and a Half. The film follows a young boy who has aspirations of becoming a police officer and is given the opportunity to showcase his police skills alongside Burt Reynolds. Cop and a Half is Golden's most notable role, and even though he hasn't been active in Hollywood lately, his portrayal as Devin Butler stood out among critics and audiences everywhere, which is why Norman D. Golden will always be unforgotten. Born in Wisconsin in April of 1984, Norman E. Golden knew he wanted to be an actor once he began watching shows with his family after dinner. I would see kids playing make-believe, if you will. I was old enough to know I was around six to understand that it wasn't real, understanding it was make-believe, but not understanding what Hollywood was really about. Seeing other kids having fun on screen is what led Golden telling his own parents that he wanted to try the craft. They always encouraged me. You know, you can do anything you put your mind to, but unbeknownst to them, in my mind, I can do that now, not when I'm an adult when I grow up. Golden's parents were very supportive throughout his journey and enrolled him in a commercial workshop. The workshop allowed Golden to get accustomed to the audition process, provided experience in front of the camera, and even allowed him to learn how to write for the screen. Golden's first big break came in 1992 when he secured a role for the short-lived sitcom True Colors. Unfortunately, the show would be canceled after Golden's arrival, most likely due to several changes to the main cast and the deteriorating health of some of the lead actors. After appearing in more commercials, Golden participated in the most recognizable and notable role of his career, Devin Butler in Cop and a Half. The film released in 1993 follows an eight-year-old boy with dreams of becoming a cop. One day he witnessed a murder and refuses to give the cops information unless they make him one too. As a response, the force teams him up with Detective Nick McKenna, played by Burt Reynolds. When it came to his iconic role as Devin Butler, Golden said, just the fact that I had a role that big for my demographic. There wasn't a lot of young African-American kids, boys in particular, sharing a co-star on the billing with a person like Burt Reynolds. I think that's what made it unique. People would see this poster and see this little black kid sitting on Burt Reynolds' shoulders and be like, what is this? It was a lot of fun working with Burt. He was a great guy to learn from. You were always able to get something from him. He was also hilarious. It made the set really light. He had a light heart, very professional. He knew his stuff. Knowing that he was a representation for young black kids growing up, Golden said, there has been a long-standing clash with the black community in particular and law enforcement, and there's reasons for that. Black kids should be able to want to be a cop and protect and serve, really more to serve our community as a form of protection. We haven't really been able to get that, not only because of our relationship with law enforcement, but society in general. Originally, the role of the kid was going to be played by Macaulay Culkin from Home Alone, However, after the script was delayed, Golden was cast. For his performance, he was nominated for a Young Artist Award for Best Actor Under 10 in a Motion Picture. In addition, he was also nominated for a Golden Raspberry Award for Worst New Star. His co-star, Burt Reynolds, was nominated for Worst Actor. Despite receiving overwhelmingly negative reviews, Cop and a Half has remained a cult classic. After Cop and a Half, Golden co-starred in the TV film There Are No Children Here, alongside Oprah Winfrey, Maya Angelou, and Keith David. Golden's next roles would include the TV movies America's Dream and Shaughnessy. His final credited role, however, was the miniseries Moby Dick in 1998. When not acting, Golden spends some of his time writing screenplays and scripts, as well as developing independent projects. As Golden began his writing career, he revealed one of the first scripts he wrote was a sequel to Cop and a Half titled The Half is Back. According to Golden, the plot followed his character Devin Butler as a 17-year-old preparing to graduate high school. In an effort to join a police force, Butler goes through a junior police academy where he witnesses another murder. It was going to be centered more around Devin Butler, 
actually doing investigations and getting the bad guys as opposed to a cop and a half where he was a witness but he was like a ride along as well as with the half his back he was basically involved in solving the crime but universal obviously didn't buy it the studio didn't buy the film but would end up releasing a straight to dvd sequel in 2017 titled cop and a half new recruit the movie would star lou diamond phillips and lulu wilson in the roles previously held by reynolds and golden golden script for the sequel would not see the light of day it turned into this legal cease and desist don't do this so when cop and a half two came out i actually found out about it through fans they're like do you have anything to do with this i was like no and it's interesting that the film would come out i would pitch my idea to people and they were like wow that sounds like it's doable Devin Butler's now all grown up and he's continuing his pursuit as a police officer. Golden has admitted he still hasn't seen a cop and a half and feels the studio missed an opportunity because it has become a cult classic since it's released 30 years ago. In an interview, he would express his disappointment, especially considering no one in the original film was involved in the straight to DVD sequel. Golden did express empathy for the young actress who represented his character in the sequel as well. She's coming behind a movie that meant something to a lot of people. Something that was established many years before she was even born. I have so many fans that said to me, I'm not going to watch that crap. Of course, Golden's co-star Burt Reynolds would tragically pass in 2018. During the interview, Golden would react to his passing. That was a bit of a blow to me because my career, the career that I have, it was him and his graciousness and his insight to really noticing my talent and wanting me to play that part that I make to actually have this platform and speak as a celebrity and former child actor. I'm forever indebted to his generosity, his graciousness, just an awesome dude all around. Golden's reasoning for taking a step back when it comes to acting is because he wanted to focus on education, not just for him, but pouring into the youth who have aspirations of working in show business as well. If he didn't take up acting, Golden said he would have became a professor, which is in line with his passion for education. Education has always been a passion of mine outside of acting and writing and all that stuff. Lately, I've been working in education. I created a curriculum for screenwriting and filmmaking that can be taught at middle school and high school levels. I've worked with a number of nonprofit organizations and even for profit company that sold classes to various private schools. That's where I've been putting a lot of my focus. I feel like education is that thing to bridge the gap between all the misunderstandings that lead to racism, sexism, all the isms. Golden noted that a lot of the media we consume shape many of our own lives, so he does his best to offer an alternative. The memories attached with a cop and a half covers an entire generation, much like Black Panther provides memories and representation to this current one. At the age of nine, Norma D. Golden was given the responsibility of representing young black boys all over the world to show that they can be whatever they aspire to be. This becomes even more encouraging once you realize Golden was always aware of the tensions between the black community and law enforcement, and he didn't let that stop him because his calling was higher. Norma D. Golden would deliver a winning performance as Devon Butler, which has served as a blueprint for young black kids everywhere. And that is why Norma D. Golden II will always remain unforgotten. So we just released HypeAlerts.com, which gives you, our community, the opportunity to submit breaking news, interview requests, and or a throwback story. And I know how much I love those throwback stories. Now, this is exciting to me because one, I'm always reporting on these things, but also I think it's important and valuable for our content to reflect the pulse of the culture. So what are you still doing here? Message us at hypealerts.com and I hope to cover your story. Make it good too. Don't give me no like eh, stuff. Like give me something good. Make it feel good. Something that really speaks to our people. Something good. Message us.